Hey, how's it going guys? This is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Bombardier Q400 plane. And this is built by Vantes, who is here for this video. And uh, yeah, a lot of people have been requesting another aircraft tutorial since a lot of people liked uh, Meekster's plane, which was the Boeing 747, and a lot of people liked that video. So um, yeah, here's like a smaller aircraft to do. Since all the other tutorial took way too long, but I still want to post another uh, aircraft tutorial. So Montez, he designed uh, this Q400, and I did help uh, improve the design a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like. It's also a turboprop, excuse me, turboprop aircraft. So it does have these propellers instead of the usual jet engines. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy this build. And yeah, let's get started on the tutorial. All right, to start the Q400, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make this line of quartz uh, 40 blocks long. It's gonna be two blocks above the ground like this. And yeah, I already pre-built it, so I don't have to like place all the blocks. And now we're gonna take out quartz slab, add it to the front, make an upper slab, and add a slab on top of it. Then we're gonna add quartz behind it, and another quartz slab dangling up like so. And then um, on the side here, we're going to take quartz, add a block here, and add another block behind it. And then we're going to add a quartz stairs sticking out upside down like this. And a quartz block on the side. We're going to make this uh, three blocks long, like so. And then on top here, we're going to add two quartz blocks like that. And then I think we're going to use a quartz stairs, two blocks on top like that. And down over here, what we're going to do is add a quartz block on the inside part like so. And then we're going to take quartz slab and add two of them diagonally like this. Then we're going to take out a black concrete and we're going to add on the inside that's uh, two blocks diagonally like this. And we are basically just building half the aircraft. Uh, just be aware of that since it is pretty symmetrical. So back over here, we're going to take another brick slab, add an upper slab here. Slab on top, make a line of three like that. Then on the roof, we're going to take quartz slab. And we're going to add um, slabs on top like this. Make a little L like so. All right, next we're going to move down under here. We're going to add a quartz slab there. And a quartz stair sticking out upside down. And another one that's going to face the front so it's curved like so. And then we're going to add uh, three quartz blocks behind it. One, two, three. And the outer edge here, what we're going to do, let's add an iron trap door right there. And a quartz slab. And then a quartz stairs facing the front. Like so. And right behind it, we're going to add a quartz uh, stairs facing upside down on the side there. All right, so on top of that, we're going to take out um, polished diorite. We're going to add two blocks like this. And then we're going to take out a diorite, polished diorite stairs, put it on top, and this is going to be the door. Then we're going to go to the back, right at the tip. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a slab like that, and then an iron trap door. Right behind it on top, we're going to take uh, quartz blocks, add two blocks like that. And then we're going to add a quartz stairs to the back of the upside down, like so. And then we're going to take two quartz slabs, add it to the back of that. Iron trap door. On top, we're going to add quartz slab and a quartz slab towards the front. And behind, we're going to take quartz stairs upside down and a quartz slab like that. Then on top, we're going to add uh, two quartz blocks, or quartz slabs, I mean. And then we're going to take quartz block and add one here. We're going to make it four blocks long. Two, three, four, like this. And on this section here, we're going to add a quartz block right on top. And we're going to add two more diagonally to this. So one and then two. And then we're going to take a quartz stairs upside down, place it underneath this block and a quartz slab underneath the next layer right there. On top of here, we're gonna add another quartz block and then a quartz slab behind it. It's gonna be an upper slab like that. Then we're gonna move down over here and we're gonna add in a uh, quartz stairs and this is gonna be, skip that block there, add a quartz stairs, face to the back, 
quartz slab. On top of the slab, we're going to add a quartz block and add another quartz block behind it, and then a quartz stairs, and then a quartz slab. Then on top of this stairs, we're going to add a quartz block, and we're going to make it four blocks long. So one, two, three, four, and then we're going to add a quartz slab, and then an iron trap door. On top, we're going to add two more iron trap doors here. Iron trap door to the side of this quartz, and then we're going to add a quartz slab here, and then a quartz stairs, upside down, facing the back. And then quartz block, we're going to make it six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we're going to add four quartz blocks underneath. So one, two, three, four. And then a quartz stairs. And then a quartz slab. Then we're going to add an iron trap door underneath this quartz block here right next to that stairs and then um, to this side over here we're going to add in let's say four quartz blocks at one two three four and then we're going to add quartz stairs facing the back upside down and then facing the front for the rest cross like that that should be four all right so once we do that uh, we're going to add polished diorite right above this quartz stairs so made two blocks tall and then polish diorite stairs on top like so and then we're going to add quartz stairs on the back of this so we're going to make it four blocks long one two three and four then we're going to add two quartz slabs one two like that then we're going to go back over here let's add two iron trap doors like that and the inside part we're going to add a quartz slab then we're going to take quartz stairs we're going to add um let's say three and the third one's going to be curved towards the back like so and then we're going to add a quartz uh, block behind it make it two blocks long like that all right so for the next layer on the very top uh, let's go back over here and back to this top of the tail section and uh, we're going to add in three quartz blocks on top of the slab and a uh, backwards upside down um, quartz uh, stairs like that then we're going to add three quartz in the front so actually two more quartz in the front so that should be three in total like that then upside down quartz stairs right below it a quartz block and we're going to go diagonally down all the way just add quartz all the way down till we reach the fuselage which is the main body of the aircraft so like that. All right, so once we do that, um, let's go um, back over here to this section. And we want to make sure that uh, this part, it's going to have two quartz slabs, like that. And then two iron trap doors. And then we're going to add quartz underneath. Line up the trap door and go one block past it. And then we're going to add quartz stairs in the front of it like so and then we're going to fill all this layer in with quartz pretty much just the tail just fill that in all the way like so alright so then we're going to take out a uh, quartz slab go right over here to this section and we're going to line that up all the way back towards the front just go all the way across like so. Alright, so it should look like this. Now um, we're going to go back over here to this section and we're going to add quartz stairs to the sides of the fuselage. And this is pretty much going to be all the way across. So I'm going to fast forward this bit. So it should look like that. Now we're going to go over here and add quartz slabs and this is going to be nine blocks long so one two three four five six seven eight nine and add iron trap door to the side of it then let's add a two um two blocks wide of quartz and this section is going to be seven blocks long so one two three four five six seven two three four five six seven 
Then we're going to add uh, two iron trap doors here, like that, and four iron trap doors in the middle. So one, two, three, four. Now underneath this iron trap door, we're going to take out um, quartz slabs. So then we're going to go all the way back to the front, like so. All right, so it looks like this. Now there's also some more roof detail which we're going to add. So let's take a lever and have that face towards the back. And I just found out like the direction of the lever is just the direction you're facing, by the way. All right, so we're going to add that. Let's also add in a stone bun to the side of this um, iron trap door. It's going to be a second one in. Add an iron trap door here. Skip a block, iron trap door. Skip block, iron trap door. Skip a block. Iron trap door, and there might be there might be two on the last one, so it's gonna be two blocks long. And let's add uh, stone buttons in between the iron trap doors, like so. So we got a little bit of roof detail. All right. So next, we're gonna take out quartz block. Gonna go to the side over here, um, the bottom layer of that door, and we're gonna add quartz all the way across to the other side. Like so. All right, next we're gonna take quartz and we're gonna go to the bottom. And on the inner part, we're gonna add quartz blocks all the way across for the floor. Like it's this, and it goes all the way to the front. Then we're gonna go on the next layer, we're gonna add the windows, which are just basically uh, quartz stairs facing the back. We'd go all the way across. And this part's gonna be a little asymmetrical, but for now, we're just gonna be leaving it like this. And let's add black concrete. We're gonna add that on the inside part of the windows because there's not gonna be an interior on this plane. Uh, it'll be too small to fit it. So we just have like these nice uh, black little windows like we did the 747. All right, so once we're done with that, we'd go back over here to this wing section. And we're gonna go skip these two quartz blocks or quartz slabs here. And we're gonna add three quartz blocks to the side iron trap door right there and then we're going to go right underneath this iron trap door delete four of these um, quartz stairs and we're going to place quartz blocks instead and we're going to make these outer quartz stairs we're going to make them curved so they wrap around um, the start of the wing like so all right next we're going to go to the back and we're going to add two quartz stairs over here upside down like that and the next stairs are going to be a bit tricky um, they're going to actually face um, towards the aircraft, so I'm going to have to build a little trench here, dig it out just to place it, and we're going to have seven quartz stairs on the inside, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then the rest are just going to be quartz stairs all the way across as usual, like so, and <laughs> let me fix up this hole, like that. So we got that nice, nice little um, detail on the bottom right there. All right, next we're gonna go to the top of the tail and we're gonna add three iron trap doors right there in the middle. Then on the side, we're gonna add quartz slabs, three blocks long like this. And we're gonna add a quartz slab right there and a dark oak wood trap door. Then go back over here, add two nether brick slabs and then dark oak wood trap door again like that. And I think that should be it for the tail. Now let's go back over here to the end. I just realized he put a skeleton skull or skeleton skull on the back of that uh, slab right there. So we're gonna add that. And then we're gonna move back over here to the wing. All right, so we're back at the wing and we're gonna take another brick stairs and we're gonna have that facing upside down towards the front like that. Then we're gonna add three quartz stairs on the sides and the third one's gonna be uh, facing the back like that. And then we're gonna add another brick slab to the side here. We're gonna make it four blocks long, like that. Then we're gonna take quartz slabs, and I don't have that right now, so let me grab it right there. And then we're gonna take quartz slabs, we're gonna make a two by four on the back of this. Then we're also gonna add another quartz slab to the side right there. Then we're going to add dark oak wood trap doors on top of these nether brick slabs. 
and then we're going to add iron trap door do you need to grab again and put it on these slabs and make it five blocks long as well then in the middle we're going to add quartz slabs and just go across like that all the way to the tip now at the tip we're going to add quartz um, slab and we're going to make it four blocks long across like this and this is the start of where the engine goes so we're going to add two iron trap doors in the front and one iron trap door in the back like that then we're going to go right underneath we're going to take quartz and just add it right underneath that iron trap door all the way to the other iron trap door like that then we're going to add a quartz stairs facing the front right side up underneath that first quartz and quartz slot or quartz blocks all the way to the back um, like that and go one block past that then we're going to add quartz stairs upside down now on the top we're going to add another brick slab right there and then another brick stairs right in the front of it like that alright so next we're going to go to the back of this and we're going to have to skip these three quartz blocks and we're going to add stone brick wall two blocks tall like this add one to the front on the bottom add a quartz slab on top it's going to be an upper slab and a stone brick wall in the front of that then down here we're going to add a um, black wall like this on the side so there's going to be two of these wheels and let's add stone buttons on the side of the wheels like so and then we're going to add a dark oak wood fence gate in the middle of that then we're going to go to the front line that up with this um, these quartz blocks here go in the middle and add the black wool again and make sure it's the middle I'm going to add stone button on the side of it just like we did on the other one like so now let's go back over here to the wing area alright so for the propeller we're going to take out um, another brick stairs we're going to have that facing upside down right in front of that quartz stairs and we're going to add um, another brick slab sticking out like that then we're on top of this we're going to add another brick stairs upside down like that in the inside part another brick stairs facing the front and another brick stairs facing outwards like that I then we're going to add another brick stairs on top facing uh, the side and another brick slab right there then we're going to take out um, sandstone stairs and we're going to add the tips of the propeller so it's going to be a right side uh, one on the bottom and another right side up one on the side of this part like that and there's going to be one facing towards the propeller on this side and then on top there's going to be an upside down one like that and a right side one up here and then an upside down one uh, right over here it's a bit tricky to place them but they should have six um, blades like this now in the middle we're gonna have block temporarily there so we can place a dragon head now this is a new block that I never really like used before so it's like the first tutorial I'm using it so it looks like that and that's pretty weird how you place it it just fills up your screen because the block is so big alright so we're gonna place that in the middle and then we're also going to add a Montez he decided to add birch signs to the tips of the blades so I guess we're going to add that since that's what he did it's that two right there and there's another, there's going to be another two on the other side like that so four out of the six blades have signs apparently like so alright then we're going to take another brick slab let's add that to the side here and make it 11 blocks long so one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Then we're going to add a dark oak wood trapdoor on the side of it. Then we're going to go with the entire length at um, dark oak wood trapdoors on top of the slabs all the way across, and on top of that last uh, trapdoor like that. Then we're going to take um, the quartz slabs. We're going to make it two blocks wide and go the entire length all the way back to the tip of the wing then once we reach this point here we're going to add three nether brick slabs 
and a dark oak wood trap door like that. The back here, we're to skip these two blocks and we'd add two quartz slabs like that. All right, next we're to go to the back of the wing. Let's add in um, iron trap door here. We're gonna add five. One, two, three, four, five. And then a quartz slab like that. And in the front of that, we're gonna add a quartz block and a quartz slab. All right, then we're gonna add four um, actually five uh, iron trap doors right behind right right after that quartz slab so one two three four five and this could be on the top layer and then we're going to add um, quartz stairs upside down facing the back and upside down facing the front in the front of that and a quartz slab then we're to go back over to this side we're going to fill this part in with iron trap doors like so all the way across all right, so we're pretty much done on this side. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it to the other side. All right, so I copied it to the other side using world in it. Now what we're gonna do is the final touch. We're gonna go over here to this window, delete it, place a quartz block here, go to the other side, and then we're gonna skip that window here, delete this window, and place a quartz block. And yeah, that's actually pretty much it on how to build the Bombardier Q400 plane in Minecraft. Now again, this is not my design, it is Montez, although I did help um, improve design a little bit. Um, yeah, you can also customize it with whatever livery you want. This is going to be like a standard base, and maybe you want to add like a paint job of a livery of an airline that maybe you like. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> this is an aircraft tutorial, so if guys do you want more aircraft tutorials? Let me know in the comment section below. And if there's enough demand, maybe, I, who knows, I might make more aircraft tutorials like this in the future. Um, but anyways, hope you guys liked the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.